YouTube what's going on and welcome to the fourth episode of my football debate series. In today's episode we are going to be discussing the West Ham versus Chelsea game that just happened on Saturday. Also the midweek game in the Champions League between Arsenal and Bayern Munich and then the third thing we are going to be talking about is the battle between the surprising first versus second in the La Liga between Real Madrid not surprisingly and surprisingly Celta Vigo. So let's get into this episode discussing the West West Ham and Chelsea game and this was a very interesting result because heading into the game West Ham were in fourth place and Chelsea were in 12th you would think it'd probably be around the opposite at this time of the year even Chelsea being in the top two but Unfortunately for them, so far this season, they have not been the team many expected them to be, and West Ham have been absolutely fantastic, led by signings like Dimitri Payet, and also they've just been very organized, they've been surprising a bunch of teams, and they've just been playing well under their new manager, so... It was just really interesting to see two clubs going in totally opposite directions playing each other. I wasn't sure who was going to get the points as I felt like since West Ham are definitely playing a lot better than Chelsea are right now, but Chelsea still have so much more talent than West Ham do. So I was really interested to see who would get this win in a derby match nonetheless. So West Ham actually did get the win and Jose Mourinho got sent off from the game after uh, Nemanja Matic got the red card, which was very interesting, seeing the manager get sent off of the game. And uh, Nemanja Matic card, it, in my opinion, it should have been a red card, so it was a good call by the referee. And yeah, it's just really interesting to see these two clubs going in totally different directions. You would expect Chelsea to be a title contender and not West Ham, who I believe are sitting in second in the table right now. That's incredible for them. So the London club are definitely having a ton of success so far this year, and Chelsea are just going in a wrong direction. I think they need to fire Mourinho, and maybe that'll jumpstart their season because they have all the necessary pieces that they can be title contenders, but Mourinho just isn't putting them to good use. I don't know what really changed from this year to last year, but definitely something has changed and they need to make a difference right now. The second thing we're going to be talking about today is another Premier League club and another team in London, London doing some good things, and that is going to be Arsenal. They recently just went on top of the Premier League, but that's not what here, we're here to talk about. We are here to talk about their Champions League result against Bayern Munich, a game which they did win 2 nothing against Bayern Munich. It was a really poor game overall from Arsenal, in all honesty. I believe Bayern Munich had 70% possession and six times more passes completed, but at the end of the day, Arsenal got the three points and definitely put themselves right back in the mix for uh, going into, I believe, a 16th straight Champions League knockout stage appearance, which would be absolutely incredible for the Gunners. But speaking of the Bayern Munich and Arsenal game, a bunch of Arsenal fans are saying that they probably deserve the win. I'm not sure they really deserve the win. I felt like it was about an even game. Actually, Bayern Munich definitely outplayed them, but after Arsenal scored that first goal, I was like, okay, a draw is definitely the fair result after Arsenal took lead, but then Arsenal scored another one. Manuel, Manuel Neuer had a little bit of a rough game overall, and Arsenal just got the three points, and they are right back into the thick of things in this group with Olympiacos on six points. They play the Croatian team. I think I believe it's Dynamo Zergev, and also Bayern Munich sitting there on six points and also Arsenal on three and Zergev on three so it will be very interesting to see how that group plays out at the end I definitely think Arsenal should fancy their chances of advancing out of the group now that they got that win over Bayern Munich and are now top of the Premier League table they've hit a good run of form and it's very interesting to see how R.C. Wenger is using his team right now I don't think a couple years ago he would have played that really letting Bayern Munich run all over them, have 70% possession against them, and just hit him on the counterattack from set pieces. It was probably a sign of maturity from Arsene Wenger and just showing how far Arsenal have come, and I think that they might be a little bit of a different team. I still think they do come in probably second this year. I don't think they win the title, but they're definitely looking like a lot better team than they have been the past couple seasons. Now, the final thing we're going to be talking about on this football debate episode is going to be about the top two teams in La Liga, and that was surprisingly 
Celta Vigo and Real Madrid. Real Madrid, the Catalan Giants, definitely not surprised that they were in first place entering the game, but Celta Vigo, led by their star forwards, Nolito and Igo Aspas, have been absolutely fantastic this year. They were unbeaten entering this game. Unfortunately for them, they did lose 3-1, to one, but it's really showing how good Nolito and Aspas has been for Celta Vigo so far this year. Nolito is definitely uh, one of the best players in La Liga that doesn't play for Barcelona and Real and would be even a pretty good player on those teams because he's in such a good run of form. I would definitely not be surprised. I've heard him get rumors with Arsenal and some other big-time clubs like Napoli. I wouldn't be surprised if he moves to a much better club because he's playing fantastic so far this year and definitely deserves the big money move. But if he wants to stay, that's his choice because he's playing so well and has led Celta Vigo to, I believe, they fall fallen to third place as Barcelona won, or they might win. So just the way he's been playing so far has been absolutely fantastic. He's been leading Celta Vigo, which is really good for them. But Real Madrid get the win. They maintain their spot in first place, which is very good for them. As with their new manager, you never knew how they were going to do. You figured they'd be pretty good, but you just never know as you see what Chelsea are doing right now. But I'm just really impressed with the way Nolito and Celta Vigo are playing as a whole. I believe they did beat... Uh, Barcelona 3-1 th to one or 4-1 to one. so that was a very solid result for them as they are playing very well and that will wrap it up for this episode of my football debate series if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more football debate series FHS season tickets and FIFA 16 content